Hello everybody and welcome back to my studio uh, here in the old Dana Wark Mill in Westbrook, Maine. Um, so for my very first uh, Patreon video demonstration, I'm going to show you my process of, of painting a small color study with the intention that I will then take that color study, paint it larger. So working initially with a, the with a study at about a six by six um, up to like a six by eight format. And then I will then use that to, to paint, you know, a scene maybe nine by 12 or, or even larger, as large as 24 by 32, or really as large as I can go. Um, the purpose of doing these color studies, uh, th there are several reasons. Um, one is I like to have these small studies, which are not much of a commitment um, to sort of enter into the painting process for the weekend for me. Uh, if, if I'm lucky, I can maybe get three to four days of, of painting in in a week. Um, you know, having a, a family with a young kid, uh, a medical practice that I work four days a week at. Um, but you know, I, I can do these studies if I have, say, an, an hour at the end of the day uh, before I need to get home, or on the weekends I'll start the the morning with a color study as a way to just kind of get in the groove. Um, you know become a little bit more confident again with using the pastel sticks uh, familiarizing myself with my palette so i'll take that color study and um, i'll actually post it on the wall right next to my ipad so i'll have my ipad my color study and then my my mounted sheet of paper all basically taped to the wall it, it, it works better for me than an easel at this point in the studio and then that way when i'm painting that larger scene I'll have both of those, those sort of references, I'll have my scene, and then I'll actually have that little color palette that I, that I uh, sort of discovered through, through the color study process. Um, when I do these studies with workshops, it tends to, um, I tend to, to limit the time frame to, to 20 minutes, um, at least for like the first three or so, and then We'll start to lengthen out that time, say do three at 20 minutes and then one at uh, 30 minutes, one at 40 minutes, and then one just kind of free time. People can take as long as they want. Um, and something that I have found, and I think most people have found, is that um, some of the best paintings that I see in a three-day workshop are done maybe within the first hour of, of students painting. In, in those short little time color studies, there's something about um, sort of that spontaneous process and sort of the discovery that happens in the color studies, which just doesn't happen if you have all the time in the world and you can spend six hours on a nine by 12 or you know whatever it may be. Um, and I can very confidently say that the majority of, of the sort of progress that I've made as a pastelist over these past four or five years I can really attribute um, to painting these color studies. And uh, I can say that confidently, and I know students who have actually sort of accepted my challenge and gone on to do these, these studies at home on a very regular basis, and I hope that they've um, seen growth in their painting just like I have. And so that's what I'll do today. I'll, I'll do one of these color studies. I, I may not do 20 minutes timed. Um, there's, I would say, a little bit less uh, likelihood of success when I when I do those 20 minutes timed um, despite what I just said with students I do find though that um, many of these studies end up being nice little pieces that I can then frame and actually show in small work shows or uh, you know provide to some of my galleries um, the price point is, is very reasonable for folks so they're not paying you know for a large 24 by 24 which you know I consider my masterpiece you know they're they're paying much smaller fee to get a, a, a you know a piece that has a similar feel so um, welcome like I said I'm excited to get going today and, and to share with you my, my process for uh, these color studies thank you